Hello everyone. I just wanted to um, show you what I'm doing at the moment. A lot of ladies have been making the fabric and lace books and I've admired them for quite some time now. There's some beautiful blogs where people make the most gorgeous books out of fabric and laces and um, beautiful ones on YouTube as well and they're all done slightly differently you know which is wonderful everybody puts their own spin on things um, and makes it their own which is the way it should be it's a little bit daunting when you've never when you're new to something like that now this is going to be my first completed fabric book I have started another fabric book, a totally, well, a different um, binding method, a different style altogether than this particular one. Um, but it isn't completed at all. It's, um, I've only just started it, so I really, you know, I can't say much about that at all. Um, with this one, this is uh, something I've been wanting to make. And I just thought I would um, show how I put a page together because I know when I was looking, there's a couple of tutorials out there um, and people explain how they make them um, from a finished book. And I just wanted to show you how I go about doing it um, and the particular method I'm going to use as well because mine's a little bit different to what I've seen. and. I don't know why I picked this way of doing it, it just sort of evolved when I was making the pages. Okay, so this, what I've done for my pages is I have found some doilies, and they are doilies or napkins, um, quite, you know, a good size. That's, um, I've actually trimmed that one because, you know, I didn't want my book to be huge, of course. Um, and all these little scraps, you have to keep the bits that you cut off. Anyway, what I did was I chose doilies that when you fold them in half, they were the same around here. And if I didn't have one that was the same, that would flip over the same, I got two doilies that were the same. So, um, you know, if I... if if this had a pattern here, which this one actually does have a pattern here, this is this particular one, um, you can see that in one, if I show you the back, on one side, that's it, it went like that. So you couldn't fold it over, but I was fortunate that I found two of those ones. Um, and they're all from the thrift shop, actually, so I've been collecting them for a few months now. So, anyway. Keep all the little bits you end up cutting off of your pages because they will come in handy. So I'm making the, all the pages out of napkins and you know larger doilies that all have a linen center so that can be the basis for my page. And see there's the other one there, that's the same. And in the middle I'm sandwiching some felt, easy to come by. It's not quite as expensive as wool batting and not as thick as the polyester batting. Um, just to give the page, you know, when the page is together like that, a bit of substance. Now my book will be sewn. I'm not using any glue in this album whatsoever. I'm just sewing it. I think if I have to keep something on the page properly when I'm sewing, I think, oh, who was it? Uh, I think Lila, Lila Levine, she recommends just popping, you know, a bit of glue stick underneath it to hold it in place just while you sew it, but it, it's glue stick, it's not going to stay on very well. Okay, another thing I recommend is making, making some little snippets. Now, these are little snippets, and all they are is, like, see there's the corner off one of the doilies here. There's a doily that I cut the end off, or napkin, or placemat, whatever it is. And, you know, that would have come out of there. And I've just used it as a base, a bit of hessian or burlap, and just layered a few things together that were just scraps. That's one of the flowers I made for a swap recently. 
um, and that wasn't on here at all but when I started putting the page together I wanted to pick up a little bit of yellow in her dress so I added the little yellow flower to the center but um these these are great you know to make up before you start a book and then you just have to place them on with some doilies underneath see here's that that's another one there I've pinned everything ready for sewing because I like to stare at things for a day or two before I commit to it just in case I change my mind or have a different idea so this, this is my page. Let's just take it apart. That's what I was going to show you, how I go about building a page for this book that I'm doing. And remember, this is sort of, you know, I'm learning as I go along. There's my page there. I've got a raw edge down here. This edge here will be sewn into the book, so I don't have to worry about that one too much right now. I do have to leave a little bit of space to sew it in, though, so I need to keep that in mind. I've got this old doily here. Now I prefer to use things that are stained and things, you know, not pristine because they can still be used. But see how it's got it's got a few marks on it. Yeah, it's got a few marks. Try and find your right side. It's got them in the middle there, so they're not going to be seen. It's actually got one on that top part there, so I'll put that up there. Yep, there's one there anyway, so it really doesn't matter, does it? I'm just going to scrunch it up a little bit like that because I'd like it to have a drapey effect when it comes off the page. Um, find our picture. Put that on like that, needing to leave a little bit of space there. I've got this pre-made, you know, I've got another one started here. Um, with some lovely raw silk. Look at the colour of the inside of that, that silk. Whoops, I'm not even in frame. So, can you see? Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a teal sea green, blue, blue. Mm, it's absolutely beautiful. But you know, I'll just, as I get like scraps of things, I might make a, a little flower or something and put that on there. But that's what I tend to do, especially if I don't know what to make. They're easy enough to make. So, put that there, and here's another one. I, I made these before I made the pages, you know, well, while I was making the pages, because that's part of one of the pages. But I hadn't actually found the pictures for the album. Um, I only found those on Friday, and that's when I sort of started. I f started Friday morning cutting all the pages out on Friday, evening I found the images I wanted, Saturday morning I printed them all up um, and then of course once I got the images then I added, see this little bit of yellow organza and ribbon lace there and just put some beads on it as well just to bring out the yellow. I've sewn some of this it's like a beaded thread. It, I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it's called though. It was in a box full that I got from eBay. So I just want to cover the bottom here like that. So that's how that page will go. And it comes together quite easily. I can still see the cor corner of my page there. And then I'll just you know, I'll sew this on first, and then I'll sew this on, and then I'll sew these two on here. I may or may not add words at the end of it, and, you know, maybe maybe some little pearls around here as well. But that's how I'm going to be building my pages throughout the whole book. In fact, that's how I have built my pages. As you can see, I've sort of put them all together so far. Each of the pages is a different colour because each of the dresses I found are a different colour. But I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll wait till it's all finished. And you can see the whole book. I haven't even thought about the cover just yet. I do know how I'm going to bind it. And that is I have this large 
uh, it could be a, a table centerpiece or I don't know if it would be a napkin I know it's it feels like it but I, I just I don't think you'd have such lace on a, a table napkin so it could be just like a doily type thing I've folded that in half it's a nice thickness and what I'm going to do as you can see here I'm just going to concertina it up the amount of times of the pages that I have I mean I, I have no idea whether this will actually work it's a similar method to what you uh, do the, the books out of and as you can see that can form the base to so my pages to each page can go onto one of those and then that will be part part of the inside front cover and I can add the cover to it and then I can uh, stitch this to the front of the cover as well and have some sort of um, binding but I haven't thought that far ahead yet but um, I don't know why I decided on this and I don't even know if it will work because I haven't seen anyone do it this way everyone seems to have their own method of doing it and I think you have something in mind of how you want it to look and I didn't want my pages being too thick but I wanted them to have a little substance I was going to get wool batting but it was it was too expensive I had to buy a minimum of two meters I think it was from Lingcraft and it was like thirty dollars and I didn't really want that much so I got some felt and felt you can pretty much get anywhere these days so. okay so thank you for watching and I hope you hope that was helpful in some way and I'm looking forward to sewing this all together and seeing how it looks and I'm even planning my next one Oh dear. And these beautiful images are absolutely gorgeous and when I put up the completed album I'll put a link to where I found those images too. Okay, thank you for joining me today ladies. Bye bye.